I'm Terry Dunn by Diggity. This is going to be the final match, which is the only replay I have from this group, which, I, uh, what, are, what group did I say this was? G? G or H? G. I don't think I have any replays from group H. Um, and if I have that wrong, the, re the, the description has it right <laughs> after the fact. We have Fisheye, who we've seen go deep in BSL Hasu League previously. He's starting the left-hand corner. What is that? About this 9 o'clock? 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock as the gray Protoss bottom right-hand corner. We have Protoss. Uh, as the blue Protoss, he's going to be starting at the four o'clock position. That's uh, his AKA is Witzelf, but uh, G another German Protoss player. So this is an interior to Germany match, actually. I have not seen Witzelf play. I'm unfamiliar with him altogether. Uh, just my lack of knowing all of the foreigners everywhere, which I'll, eventually I will know all of the foreigners, eventually. Interior pylon. This was handed to me kind of behind the scenes, I believe by Fisheye, mostly, and I, I'm keeping the production tab off in the upper left-hand corner, particularly because he didn't want to, uh, and I think this was handed off uh, to Hatchet this direction so that I would not, basically, so he didn't want the replay available. He was okay with it being casted, didn't want the replay available overall. And I think I'm gonna offer that up to everybody in the round of 32 for Choba League and Hostel League. If you wanna do it that way, yeah, just send me the replay direct, I'm okay with that. Um, mostly because uh, Fisheye didn't want to lose the advantage because this season of BSL has been spaced out, which I appreciate a lot, actually. I think it's better for the viewers. It's better for the players. It's better for the casters, certainly. Um, it takes me a while to get everything done. Anyway, it looks like we're seeing a two-gate opener from Fisheye, which I feel like it's got to be pretty standard on Aztec again because of that inverted ramp at that national expansion. Fisheye scouting, wanting to get that early scouting information, scouting to the 12 o'clock base first. It looks like, unfortunately, Protoss with the later scout is going to get that scout off earlier. But anyway, so Fisheye handed this replay off in the background, mostly to make sure that he, uh, and did it kind of mostly so because because the round of 32 play uh, replays were optional, he didn't want to give his opponents an advantage moving to the round of 16. Um, some people still opted to go ahead and put those replays down. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. But I do like that um, there's a little bit more spacing. I'm wondering if, I'm wondering actually if they want to make the replays just caster only, that would kind of, that's, that's, whoops, sorry, I bumped my mic there. Might end up being kind of a weird thing where it's like, okay, we hide the replays, but the replay folder is still open and available. I don't know how they do that overall. Uh, so I think just leaving the replay, I like the way they're doing it now. Um, but I get where Fisheye is coming from this and still, yeah, trying to respect it, keep it this off. Still want to open that up to anybody. If you just want to send it to me direct from the round of 32, I guess it's more like a Chobu League thing at this stage. If you want to just send me the replays from the round of 32, if you still want them cast, that's good. And I'll just make sure that the information's off so you so that it's still commentated, but uh, no secrets, secrets are revealed. Anyway, initial three zealots have been produced. Fisheye moving out. Looks like that probe uh, still hanging out here at that main. Cybernetics core warping in is... I think just about mirror builds at this stage. Fisheye, one probe ahead at this stage of things. This probe moving its way across, that ramp is well blockaded. So, But what this is going to give an advantage to Fisheye is he's going to have that probe alongside if he wants to, to push a Zealot versus Zealot fight. However, when, there may be a pause in Zealot production here as that Cybernetic score is warping in. Looks like a, another probe drawing back. Cybernetic score warping in for Fisheye. Um, so now, yeah, kind of, and also the Zelt being kind of caught out front. And this could be a big advantage for Fisheye. So even being able to hold, if he decides to rally Dragoons here, again, ooh, that probe trying to push through, eating a bit of damage. It looks like it's going to go ahead and sit back. But now, yeah, Fisheye, what he can do is create a, a nice concave. And granted, it's, it's a long distance to reinforce. But if he can get Dragoons here... And hold this high and hold the high ground. He can basically box his opponent out of a base entirely. Protoss on the opposite side of the map. Maybe I'm wondering if he's going to go for a proxy pylon to delay things. Oops, a little bit of a misfire. Looks like onto the pylon. Actually, it looks like that attack animation was canceled. The dragoon's going to go after that probe scout before uh, pressing out. Two dragoons being produced opposite side. Looks like they should be able to yeah push up in the meantime. Fisheye actually not backing out is trying to work on that Zealot. Still, I think he's hoping to sneak through. And here's, yeah, that problem is, is even with those Dragoons there, it's a high ground misfire uh, disadvantage. But now Fisheye, he's kind of dedicated. Dancing back and forth, trying to get done what he can, is getting a little bit of shield damage and now trying to flee with the rest of these Zealots. 
got enough distance where it looks like Protoss is going to abandon trying to pursue. He put down a third gateway, but he's still in a good position to go ahead and grab an additional base robotics facility going down for Fisheye behind this. Both players look like they're saving up. The Zelt's pocketing themselves to the 6 o'clock location. And Protoss, all of a sudden, with a bit of a troop advantage, doesn't look like he's going to press it. He's just moving up to this forward, I almost want to call this like the third staging area, because it's like, you know, first staging area, second staging area at the natural expansion, which is important to hold, and this is kind of the third staging area on Aztec. So he's going to get his Nexus up well before Fisheye does. Fisheye with the robotics facility. Uh, looks like range is going to finish, so he is going to have that advantage. I believe. Uh, with his Dragoons. More Dragoons grouping up, and Protoss sending out yet another Probe Scout. He's going to, is he going to find these Zealots to the south? These Zealots, being very sneaky, might be able to, first of all, get Scout. First of all, they're going to see that Nexus as they're running underneath. And might even be able to get a probe killer too. Protoss completely out of position, trying to draw troops back to engage this. These dragoons are going to be a ways off. So seeing the build order, seeing the three gate build. So now Fisheye has all of the scouting information plus the disruption and mining. Is he going to get probe kills on top of this? Probe drills trying to disrupt this. A pretty good disruption, but still ends up losing some mining time. So two zealots, I think, are worth both the scouting information and the disruption of mining time there. Fisheye getting his Nexus up. So this Nexus is going to be significantly later. But critically, he knows what his opponent's up to. Grabbing a robotic support bane. So he knows, or should know, at this level of play, how to respond in kind. A little bit behind in supply. He's going to be behind economically overall. Fisheye actually sneaking out a probe to the upper ramp. Is he going to go for a quick third? I would be kind of shocked if that was his play. Protoss starting to move out with a lot of Dragoons, and Fisheye actually doesn't have a big grouping here at this staging area. Am I just going to call this the third staging area from now on? It looks like, okay, this is the probe. Going to... This is the logic behind the probe. Allow this observer to go ahead and move forward, keep this probe to the north to see if there's an end around of troop engagement. And Fisheye is, in fact, going to see these troops with this probe. Great play. Stinking their way across. Let's see if Fisheye can regroup. Trying to regroup near that natural expansion is going to use that pylon with the misfire rate and re uh, kind of settle these troops. Overall, it looks like you got, what, eight Dragoons here, but a closer reinforcement and superior Dragoon force. Opposite corner, there is a handful of Zealots. More Dragoons pressing forward to reinforce. The Observer across the base seeing everything. And Protoss starting to work on that pylon for free. There is a Reaver, but the Reaver's got a slow walk to the north, and otherwise there is a one-gate reinforcement advantage for Protoss. The question is, is can the Reaver get in position to provide that additional defense before Protoss dives on top of this? Protoss now moving in. The Reaver just crawling up to get involved in this fight. A nice conca nice spread, though, from Fisheye to engage this. And it looks like they're now the shot's raining down. So that should be the end of this attack from Protoss. Loses a lot of his Dragoons. And it looks like that Reaver is going to hold. So Fisheye keeps that natural expansion up. Replacing that pylon. Has the Reavers defensively. And Fisheye has an Observer sitting over that natural expansion. He's going to see that Citadel of Adun warping in. Fourth gateway being plopped down. Third gateway being added now for Fisheye. To deal with this. A Dragoon sneaking forward is going to eat some base fire. Continuing to press into this. Which shocks me a little bit. Wants to pick that Reaver off. And is going to end up losing the rest of this Dragoon army on the front. Does pick the Reaver off, however, but loses what's left of those attack forces. More Dragoons pressing forward. So nice, I gotta say, nice pick off there overall. Third gateway and fourth gateway being added for Fisheye behind this. Still no second gas. Second gas has been grabbed by Protoss. I think he's just gonna go for Zelt leg speed. Fifth gateway being added. So this is gonna be a five gate, very heavy five gate mid game pressure, which makes sense why he went so aggressively after that Reaver, because I think he wants to go, yeah, speed legs, force Fisheye into his natural expansion, get a bunch of Zealots underneath, a bunch of Dragoons on top of it, and press out from there. Shuttle moving out to the north. This might be an opportunity, and to, is there going to be a second Reaver? There should be a Reaver in time to provide some additional defense. Fisheye grabbing a Citadel Dune of his own, and Fifth Gateway as well. I'm also kind of checking that right-hand corner. This Shuttle... Could be the difference here. And I take that back. Protoss acting like he wants to go ahead and grab a third base. But getting the Zealots in the leg speed. No, 
and warping in a photon can actually underneath this. Did that probe see that shuttle? I don't know that it did. Maybe it did, because it looks like there is a Dragoon making its way back here. But the cannon not yet warped in. Fisheye able to get that Reaver down. Several, it looks like four kills right there, and more coming. So that shuttle going to get wiped out. Maybe not, actually. Picking off another Dragoon. So the Dragoon's standing underneath, and now that shuttle being focused fire. The Reaver's still able to drop on the low ground, but not a lot of probes left at the main after all of this. Fisheye still behind in the overall probe count somehow. I actually wanted to turn around and say, like, okay, Fisheye equalized things, but loses his Reaver, loses the Dragoon, loses the shuttle. Does disrupt some mining overall, but still behind in the overall economic uh, gameplay. Protoss dropping a pylon. It looks like these pylons mostly uh, there to be defensive in the midst of all of this. Zelt Lake Speed just about finished. Another cannon being warped at the natural expansion. Fisheye just now grabbing. His second assimilator. My concern with Protoss' play, if he decides to... I think he, it might be better if he actually just sits back and opts to take a third. And maybe get High Templar and Psystorm in the midst of this. Especially after taking that shuttle down. Because if he tries to run into Fisheye's natural expansion, these Reavers can chew through a lot of these gateway units very, very rapidly. So leg speed is finished. There were a handful of Zealots mixed into this attack force. Fisheye looking about, I think, equivalent. Yeah, it's actually tacked on additional gateways to be more aggressive behind this. He's got his shuttle, his own shuttle up. He's tacked on some Reavers, and he's starting to move out to go ahead and get aggressive. Probe hanging out, dropping a cannon. It looks like this is an odd base to take at the 3 o'clock location. Difficult to defend. I think he's just hoping that won't get scouted. A probe moving forward is going to spot this army staging in the middle of the map. Fisheye trying to dodge the rest of it. But I think a lot of that was, in fact, scouted. He's going to sneak in. He sees that pylon being pushed to the 6 o'clock base. Protoss responding, rapidly moving his army to go ahead and engage here. Now, here's the thing. Protoss completely skipping robotic facility in the midst of all this. So he is just now getting that observatory up to get eyes in the air. So Fisheye does have the vision advantage. If he can get that observer up, he might, he might even get some free shots on these zealots crawling forward. He needs to make sure that army is nearby behind this. And this could be, yeah, after, oh, look at that spread. A lot of Zelts getting wiped out. Now engaging. This is uphill, however. But with those Reavers doing a lot of damage, could equalize things. Protoss trying to divide that attack force who can engage from two locations. But I think Fisheye, able to get the Zealots to the, the south and the Reavers attacking the Dragoons to the right. He's wiping out Protoss' army. And Protoss being pushed back into his natural expansion. And I don't think Zelt's leg speed, particularly with these Reavers still alive, is going to be sufficient to defend this. This Reaver, though, low on health, gets wiped out by Zealot. Still one Reaver alive. Yeah, there's GG from Protoss. Just realizing he didn't have, the first of all, the sheer amount of attack forces to defend his natural expansion. And Fisheye having that Reaver still alive to push into the one advantage he had, which was Zealot leg speed. And as soon as you, again, lose control of that natural expansion, it's just free reign into the main. So it looks like Fisheye is going to advance. Protoss got eliminated here, which would have been, which I like, actually, because then I don't have to say Protoss. <laughs> Round of 16. Uh, thanks for the replay from Fisheye. I appreciate it, being able to have the opportunity to go ahead and cast this. And I think that is it for the round of 32. So it's going to be the round of 16 next in Hostile League. And I might be able to sneak in some Dead Infested Cup games here in between. Maybe I'll do that Thursday. So look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.